feeling lazy, I'm feeling unskilled, I'm feeling stupid, I'm feeling like a failure. What if you had access to the best psychologists, therapists, and coaches from around the world, and they were willing to share with you one piece of advice that they think would change your life? What would you do with that piece of information? In this new series, Out of My Mind, we uncover that one thing and put it to the test in the real world, documenting it all on camera. Our first guest is Dan Doty, co-founder of the men's wellness organization, Everyman, which is taking the world by storm. Dan's been profiled on the Joe Rogan Experience, The Today Show, TEDx, GQ, and more. He's dedicated his life to helping men live more fulfilling, connected lives. And today he shares his most powerful piece of advice with us. What is the one thing that we should practice in our lives in order to most improve our well-being? So it's the check-in, which is a tool of simple personal awareness in three steps, slowing down, checking in with with what's happening physiologically and emotionally and then the third step is to share it but it's it is cool and i think you will see that when you are the recipient of someone else's check-in it's almost just as much about being present for other people to share as it is your own if you do this regularly several times a day you're going to notice something i don't know what you're going to notice <laughs> but something is going to happen you should probably both check in for 30 seconds now so right now i'm feeling very hot flow state. My senses are like acutely aware of everything going on. And I'm feeling extremely joyful about um, what we're learning on this call. Tension in my back, a little itch on my nose. Emotionally, I'm feeling grateful to be able to talk to you and anxious about who I'm gonna be with when these things happen. Do you really wanna take the challenge? Also ask yourself, what am I afraid to say? What do I not want to feel? Okay. I'm afraid that this is going to suck. <laughs> like this is just going to be a disaster um, and not be any good. And then, and then what? So then hey, you fire. okay? You failed. <laughs> so that's it. When we speak that unspoken thing, when you get very real and you take that risk, like man, people like just watch what happens. Thank you. That was that was perfect. Okay, I think we're ready to go. In about about a week, we'll check back in and let you know how it went. Good luck, guys. I'm here if you need me. All right. Whoa. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We're just doing a check-in right now on the streets of New York. In my body, feeling warm breeze coming. I forgot to put on deodorant today, so I smell a little bit. Emotionally, I am feeling very anxious about this whole project. Even more than that is that this is just an exercise in narcissism and that I'm just explaining my emotions, hoping that people care and validate them. I am home with my family and feel a little silly doing this right now, but I also know that my family supports me, so I feel good about that. Um, I feel grateful that I'm having dinner with my grandma right now. No, not me. You. No, I'm not. What? <laughs> I feel good. I feel good too. Yeah. yeah, I said I feel grateful that you're here. Oh, oh thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm grateful that I'm here. Oh, yeah. Now I'm feeling a lot better and less anxious, and I'm excited to see where this week goes. Flowing with joy. My hands feel pretty soft, so that's nice. Nervous energy. Tingling in my legs. A bit of anger. I feel very tired. Physically exhausted. Not being the best version of myself. Weird that I don't feel weirder. Just accidentally took some Advil PM instead of Advil. I thirsty. I got this black and white cookie. Check him. I'm very happy. The week was going well, and I felt like I was finally getting in touch with my emotions. But the truth is, I could feel something lurking under the surface that I wasn't letting up. And it would have stayed that way if I hadn't called my friend Tobias, a rabbi, to tell him about hey, the man. challenge. Hey, Alex, have you heard of this guy, Matt Davella? He makes videos that are, they're in that genre. You should check it out. Matt takes on personal development challenges for 30 days at a time and vlogs about them. He vlogs about them really, really well. Here's my first check-in after watching that video. The first feeling I'm feeling is my heart being crushed, being smushed. My breath feels short, not that I'm breathing short, but I can't fully breathe into my chest. Emotionally, I'm feeling worthless. I'm feeling lazy, I'm feeling unskilled, I'm feeling stupid. 
I'm feeling like a failure. The reason I got so down was seeing the level of care Matt put into each and every one of his shots, and then comparing them to how I was shooting my video up until that point. He was doing this, and I, well, I wasn't. His video forced me to face the fact that I wasn't doing my best. And then I realized something much bigger. The more that I thought about it, the more I realized I was doing something psychologists call self-handicapping, which is when people take steps to sabotage their own efforts towards achieving their goals so that they can protect their ego in case they do end up failing. That's exactly what I was doing here. And the more that I thought about it, the more I realized I do this in all sorts of areas in my life. Because I was in the process of checking in and sharing my emotions at this time, I decided to call my girlfriend and Brian to tell them what I was going through. First of all, you're not going to do this exactly how Matt, whoever does this. And then also, I think the first question is like, what is the one-liner about like why this is important for you to do and what service you think it brings to your audience? This would be a good time in the video to pull up that creative process. There's the, this is amazing, this is hard, you're at the, this is shit, and it's going to take a little while before it gets back to being amazing. So, right now, anything you're doing is shit, and that's just part of the creative process. Use it as an aspirational thing. At this point, I had two options. Either I give up and just let this project go, or I double down and see what I could create. And that's what I did. I stayed up all night reworking the concept and putting all of my effort into this project. The result, which is kind of meta, is the video you're watching now. Once I figured all this out, we had to check back in with Dan. Hey Dan. Hey Dan. What's up guys? So I'm really curious, how'd it go? When you gave us the challenge, you said, I don't know what's going to happen, but I know something will happen. And that was definitely true. It was going it was going actually like really smoothly. And I was telling a friend about it and he said, check out Matt Devella's YouTube channel. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the standard, yeah. yeah. Well, that's exactly what I thought. And that was exactly the problem. That I was actually doing things to sabotage myself. It's a big uh, deal. That's a really, really big deal. Really huge. I also was having like the shittiest day of my week. Like I had been, my check-ins were miserable that day. I was going through a lot on my end and just to listen to Alex, I don't know, that made me feel better. And equally beautiful part of the checking in process is also being a listener. That's so awesome. That's that's just beautiful. I mean, what, what you guys are talking about is like the essence and the core of really what I care about, which is that when we lean toward each other, when, when we just like take that step to share it together, you're right, it's beautiful for both parties. I'm very happy and excited and honored to have shared this with you guys. It's really been cool. We are as well, thank you. So again, reach out to me for any support or anything along the way, but uh, I think you guys crushed it. All right, Dan, thank you so much. Rally on, guys. Rally, Rally on. on. What you get from this process is, by its nature, very personal, and that's what I think is so powerful about it. There's kind of no, no end to how much you can learn. So when you learn one thing, another thing pops up and you constantly surprise yourself. This is a, a check-in process that takes you deep, but it has no bottom. I did not expect to learn really any of the things that I learned about myself. So before we go, we want to challenge you. Try doing some check-ins. Set a reminder in your phone five times a day or alarms or whatever it takes, but give it seven days at least. Just try it for yourself. See what happens. It might be life-changing. It might not be life-changing, but it will be something. Oh, and of course, let us know how it goes. We'll see you on the next episode of Out In My Mind. Rally on. Rally on.